What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. It literally just ticked over to news time which means that Grand Party is finally here. So this is going to be our first look at the brand new game mode because this is crazy. We actually haven't seen any gameplay as to how this actually works. So this is going to be my first impressions and kind of first run through of the new game mode. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what we have in store for us today. Grand Party ends in four days new season win through multiple battles yes indeed that is that is the goal time to test out our teams okay so on the left hand side we have a gauge that shows our wins let's actually check out the rewards so uh win one you get a gem some bounty and then also some uh some scrolls and i guess it just scrolls up every single day after the fifth win you get a legend ticket which is actually pretty cool we got some more bounty, some more um, candy as well. That's pretty nice to see. Okay, we've got another legend ticket, some more gems. And I guess, yeah, so you can only go to a maximum of 15 wins. But that'll actually total up to 50 gems, I believe it said. You also get an exclusive title, which I think I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for. I really hope that we're able to get that title because that's going to be a really nice flex. Because who knows when a title like this is ever going to be available, if ever again, right? So that's the GP rewards. We have the rule details, which gives us a bit of a rundown as to what characters receive all of the buffs during this current season. So it is interesting that Grand Party is only going to be for a very short amount of time. It's very intriguing. But strength units get attack, Psy gets uh, speed up, Slasher gets CT increase, Free Spirit gets HP. When your leader is present, Slashers get level 3 defense, which is kind of interesting. Um, special rule will only affect the combat power. That's kind of interesting. And then during the last 30 seconds, it's the same thing as normal Pyro Rumble. Okay, that's cool. So we're going to jump into some matches, I guess. There's actually not a lot on this screen. I would have thought, thought there would have been a little bit more uh, details or... May like, there's not even a ranking, which is kind of bizarre to think about too. So I think a lot of people are going to ask, you know, what is the best team to be building for? In my initial 12.2 video, I did go through two different teams that I kind of built for you guys. This is the team that I'm going to try out first. So we've got... Kinemon Denjiro, Ashura Doji, and Dogstorm as our, as our leader because they do receive the most buffs and they buff a lot of the same characters that are in the rule details. Strength, Psy, and Slasher. So the way that this team is working, we obviously want to make sure that we can get the GP skill of Kinemon. We have to deal damage 30 times, but we can only do the GP burst once with this skill and it will only give us the best benefits if we have Kozuki Odin on the team. So the idea is, is to wait until the second or third match where we have Odin, Psy Odin on the second team and then Strength Odin on the third team to get the most out of that. So that's the team comp, but of course there are a lot of other team comps you could go for. Like Roger, he only boosts Psy and Slasher, so building three teams around that is, is an idea. You've also, also got the uh, quick final tap Luffy, which I think is going to help out a lot of people because you can, you can build really good teams with it. I believe he boosts quick, strength, and free spirit. So you've got a quick team, a strength team, and then a Psy free spirit team. Like this is going to be a really solid team for many people. Uh, the Straw Hats are also pretty solid because they provide buffs to strength, dex, and quick. But I think they also provide buffs to Free Spirit. And their GP skill is actually very strong. So you could potentially run a team like this. And Straw Hats are pretty easy to build for. So if you have them, that is an idea. Um, AC Yamato are interesting. They give buffs to Strikers, Strength, and Dex. Strikers aren't the best. That's the real issue with them though. But, you know, obviously building a Dex or a Strength team is, is an idea. But yeah, that's what we've got cooking right now. Let's go ahead and actually test this. This is my first run into GP match. So let's see what we have. Okay, so this is interesting. So we can only see the opposing leaders or like the first character of each specific team here. Now, it is a little interesting that we see that Roger Whitebeard is the leaders for the bottom two teams. We can click the information. Oh, we can actually just straight up see the teams. Okay, well, that's an easy victory for us. That one is a little more complex, but definitely winnable. And then we also have this one here. I wonder if we can actually switch our team. So, you know, we can actually see that, you know, these are the teams we have to come up against. We could just straight up switch whatever team we want to make sure we get the best type advantages against them. I guess we'll go for the first one, though, because this should be a pretty easy victory. Let me go ahead and just check once again. Bottom team looks a little crazy, but it's there's not a lot of synergy, so I feel pretty comfortable with that. Oh, and you can just swap and change as you want. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and perform our first GP battle. 
Now, I really want to see, is there any UI changes here? What's going on? And what about the background? Oh, the background is a little bit, is a little bit different. Okay, and I guess the GP skill is the bar just above our team here. Now, we should have some crazy buffs. Yeah, that's some pretty good looking buffs. And GP leader, leader skill is also going to apply. Look at all those additional buffs going to our, to our team. That's crazy. And of course, you got to make sure you choose a correct leader. Um, and you can actually see the opposing team's GP skill uh, at the top there. So that's interesting. So remember, every time that we do damage, we're going to be increasing our gauge to inflict our CT or uh, GP skill, should we say. Kogara Nolan launching first, but this is looking pretty good for us right now. Again, this is not a very complex team that we're up against here. So we got Law doing a little bit of damage, and actually, that was a lot of damage. And the Waifus just missed out on launching their special. Would have been really good to get that. Okay, we got some Paralysis on our team, but I'm not too concerned. Ace should do pretty good damage. Nice. I think one of those guys actually revived the damage through defense. See you later, alligator. They do have their special ready to go in the top right-hand corner. You can see that the uh, the Shanks is good. We can still see the enemy team, which is good. We can see what buffs or debuffs are occurring. We can actually skip the, the, the match as well. So in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, there's actually a skip button. So you can just straight up skip one of the matches if you want. I believe it fully simulates everything so that's pretty cool if you know that it's going to be an easy victory you can go out of your way to just straight up skip it all together but again a pretty clean victory and we got our gp skill charged halfway which is pretty good so a very easy victory there and of course we have the secondary match coming up and we can actually still see their team so that's cool to see but I really want to launch the GP skill, but we might have to wait until, uh, you know, potentially the second or the third match of the day because this particular team is going to be a very easy victory for us. Now, I know that a lot of people are going to be relatively confused and perplexed as to what they really should be doing here. So hopefully this gives you guys a bit of a rundown as to what you should be expecting heading into this new game mode. So... Looking at the second team, oh, he's going to be launching his skills straight away. Interesting. Okay, so it does a bit of damage, but remember, the Shanks crew is not one of the uh, characters that received a GP skill update, which means that it's going to have a very generic effect. Make sure that you select a leader that actually does have a GP skill and a really good GP leader skill to give you the most beneficial effects possible. We have amazing buffs right now on our side team. This is incredible. This is going to be an absolute whitewash. I can tell you that right now. It would be nice to get this skill to launch, um, the GP skill, but I'm not... Actually, does the damage... Yeah, okay. Damage from specials does count towards the skill, which is good to see. Okay, so Straw Hat Crew are going to revive. We didn't action bind anyone, which is a bit of a shame. And then we got Yamato just absolutely mollywopping these dudes. So there's only five characters left. I'm not even too sure if we're going to get... Oh, are we going to get our skill? They're going to launch their GP skill again. Again, it only does 500 fixed damage, which is nothing too crazy. Straw Hat should do good damage, knocking out another couple of characters. Applying action bind. They did dodge it, though, unfortunately for us. And I think we're just going to fall short in terms of launching our GP skill, which it would have been nice if we were able to do that. So, it is what it is anyway. This is going to probably wrap it up, and it is. So, there we go. So, we've got two victories out of the three. Because we did that, this is an auto win. So, that is that, right? Boom. We get the second win, and then no match. Yeah, the third match does not need to activate because we already got the two wins. So with that, it, that's our first win in, in uh, Grand Party. And that was actually took a long time to go through. But of course, if it is a very easy match, you can straight up skip matches altogether, which is good. So the first win gives us a Rainbow Gem, some Bounty, and also uh, some Rumble Scrolls. And you can see on the left-hand side that the, uh, the gauge is actually increasing. So... Uh, you can also see there as well, it says we've got one win out of 15, but it also says we're in the top 33.6% of people. So I assume the higher you go up, the more difficult matches that you're going to uh, face against. So let's see what we have here. We actually have, it looks like a, maybe a little bit more complex teams. Yeah, we've got a very, very interesting set of teams here. So we've got a, a really, this is basically the waifu setup. I think we're going to challenge the waifu setup. We've got the, uh, this one here with Luffy. I can't remember what Luffy's GP skill is. Can I actually hover and see what it does? So this guy gives Dex, Psy, and Fighter characters. Okay. So that's not a bad setup from what he has. That's a scary team right there. But the fact that we do have a strength team moving first... We should easily dispose of that top team, and then it'll be Psy versus Psy, and then it'll be Slasher versus Dex. I think that's a little bit risky, 
I think it's a little bit too risky for us, even though that is a pretty good one to go up against. Um, we've got this one here at the top, which is a Kindimon Denjiro team. You've got Slashes, you've got a side team, and then you've also got the uh, the Int team at the bottom there. Again, pretty risky to go against there, but this is this should be a pretty clean victory for us. So let's go ahead and GP battle against the Waifu squad. you got all the characters uh, that are lining up to be the Waifus, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if challenging opponents that have more wins... Is that overall going to be a better option so that you get a higher ranking? But then again, it doesn't look like there's a ranking comparatively to all players. As long as you get the wins, that's the only thing that's important. The only thing that really matters is that you're winning. Now, from what I remember hearing, is that if you fail to win your match, like hypothetically, you lose two of the three games, or you lose both of your games straight up, so you lose the overall match, I believe you get the opportunity to rematch it without losing your stamina. So if that is the case, that definitely uh, is going to be helpful because uh, we want to make sure we can get as many wins as possible. So remember, once again, we're going to be using that strength team to start us off versus Ace is good to go. There should be some pretty good damage. Nice, getting a couple knockouts. You love to see it. And then, you know, a lot of these waifu characters aren't super amazing. You know, you got Sandazonia. Sandazonia actually has a bit of synergy, I think, because I think there's a skill if you have Boa Hancock on the team. Applying that confusion is very good, though, so that they don't launch their specials. Law doing some work, and then we've also got Kid, which does do damage through defense, and this straight up might just win us the game right here. You love to see it. Very, very convincing win. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on now to the second squad, which is going to be our side team once again. I really hope we do get a chance to show the slasher team, because I'm really interested to see how the slasher team would work when you're able to activate the GP skill. So for those of you who don't know what the GP skill of the KDAD does, it targets one enemy, I, th I think it's an enemy with high HP or high defense, and it does 2.5 times their attack that ignores defense. So it only does damage to one target, but then it will charge all of your character specials by 50%. So you can actually use it at the start of a game to get 50% CT charge straight away. Or what you can do is, is if you, if you see a character has like, you know, half or more of their skill charged, you can go ahead and use the skill, get your characters charged up, and then when they come up next, they just launch their specials, which I think is probably going to be, you know, the best way around it. Or maybe even, like, after your characters launch their specials, immediately use it again so that you can get your characters half-charged to get their specials back really quickly. I think that's probably the best way around it. Absolutely demolishing this middle team, of course. The side team is definitely... Uh, the team that I like the most out of these, just dominating there. Huge damage, and unfortunately, couldn't use the GP skill once again. But again, this is just a quick run-through. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, as we move on throughout the days where we win more and more matches, we're going to be encountering more difficult fights. And that's the thing about the KDAD in general, is that KDAD, they have really good sets of skills, but the fact that you have to use a strength team and a slasher team, or well, the most ideal way to use them is to use a strength and a slasher team, is that those characters do not have a lot of bulk, so it's a very, very risky setup. So now you can see that after the second win, we are now in the top 18% of players, so that's cool. So we move on to the third GP match. Now, this one is looking a little more challenging. Let's see what the first team has. They've got a dex team, which remember, we have a strength team to start us off. Then we have a side team. Ooh, this is risky, but I think it could be a lot of fun. Now, this dex team at the top isn't super scary, but I think we should go for it. That one's not bad. Okay, we got the second one, which has... Okay, we might have to switch it up because they got a... a, a okay, we might do this one too because we could switch our team so that we have the side team go first against Quick and then we have our strength team against Dex and then we have a slasher team against the, the side team, which is a little risky though. And then KDAD, they've got the strength. It's a strength slasher team at the top. Side team and then another slasher team. So that is also a pretty powerful team right there. That's a scary one The one that I felt the most comfortable with was probably the first team So I'm pretty comfortable strength versus dex Psy versus fighter and then hopefully it doesn't come down to it But then slasher versus the side team that could really be scary now We could have the opportunity to refresh But I think it would be a good opportunity to show off what we can do here So let's see we really hope that we can get the victory versus the dex team with our strength team We do have kid for damage through defense. We have jack to apply health cuts We have ace which does good damage waifus really hoping that they pull through to apply the confusion on the key characters uh <clears throat> i am kind of concerned though because cat viper and pell both have ct increase which means that they're like oh they all have ct increase 
So that's going to be kind of scary because it means that they're likely going to launch their specials first, which means that the usability of the waifus might not be that good, but we might get lucky. So we'll have to see how things go. Unfortunately, Jack missed his special there. That's going to hurt us in the long run, I feel. Okay, pretty solid damage from the Moria here. And then we've got Ace. Always nice to see him. Didn't do that much damage though. They are really, really bulky. Okay, Pell. He targets characters with the high attack. Ace took a lot of damage there. Law. Unfortunately, is Kid going to get his special? Oh my god, I hope he does. Yes, okay, good. Come on. Okay, that was really good damage. Luchi does defense down and then damage. Okay, so Ace is just taking the brunt of most of these attacks here. And once again, we're in a little bit of a pickle because... The waifus, unfortunately, aren't launching, which means that we can't use their effect to stop the opposing team from uh, from blocking their specials. So that really is going to hurt us. Okay, now waifus is going to go. Well, hopefully we hit Cat Viper. I think he might be a bit too far away. Yeah, he is a bit too far away. So unfortunately, we can't even get that. But because this match is going for a lot longer, our GP burst skill is going to be charging a lot quicker. Unfortunately, Cat Viper did not get hit with the confusion. It's getting really down to the wire now. So there's 40 seconds left, and now the second cycle of specials are coming through. Is Pell ready to go? Oh my god, this is bad. Is that if that's on Ace, that's gonna be really bad. Oh no. Yikes. Okay, so Arlong's gonna come in to replace Ace. It is a bit of a shame that Ace couldn't launch his special again. We do have Law no though coming in. Okay, but they we're just not doing damage. They do have their GP skill, which I am pretty concerned about. Okay, Arlong really not hitting that hard, and Kid just missed his special. Luckily, Kid has a lot of HP left, at least for right now. If we can get Kid to launch again, that's going to be massive. Waifus are down, and this is looking really bad for us. Cracker does do damage through defense, but they have all eight characters remaining, so this is really, really bad for us here. I don't think we're going to pull out a victory this time. Arlong, no. Luchi, Cat Viper, oh my god. This is so bad. Kid, pull through Kid. Okay, Luffy's still applying that revive effect, but it's it's now 20 seconds left, and they've still got Doflamingo, which when Dofi launches, that's going to be a straight-up knockout, unless if we get super lucky with some special launches here. That's not what we wanted. Uh, I don't think targeting Sober Mask was the ideal situation there. Uh, who, do we, who do we get hit with this? Okay, yeah, this is, this is a wrap. <laughs> this is a complete wrap, and Dalton's going to do so much damage too. Dang, dude, we got absolutely slaughtered. And that's one of the big issues that uh, the, the KDAD team will probably face, is that you have to run teams that are not defensively capable. So it might not be a, a wise decision, potentially, to face teams such as that. But now we have the side team versus the fighter team. I feel pretty comfortable with this. I, I don't think we'll be in too much strife. They've got two support characters at the back. They do have the Don Chin Jiao, so we'll see how things go here. Hopefully, we're able to pull out a victory, but this is going to be a pretty scary one. So let's see how this one kind of goes. Uh, I feel confident, though. You know, typically, the side team can handle most class teams, so we'll see how things go. But with this, it's going to leave a very, very weird uh, kind of matchup for match three. So if we do end up losing this one, it's going to be interesting to see how we can kind of progress forward, right? Um, and see if we're able to still, you know, use our stamina and stuff like that. So, let's see what happens here. Obviously, Odin and Yamato are going to be the big characters here. Luckily, we do have Wano Law, which can still apply some debuffing to the powerhouse and driven characters that may be appearing on the opposing team. So, let's see what happens. We've got Luffy Crew. Okay, we're all our specials ready to go. Any action bind? Unfortunately, missed. Okay, Law, and they're all chilling at the back. We got the uh, Rebecca Toy Soldier damage and some defense down. And then Odin. This is really bad, dude. The fact that Jinbei just chilling at the front, tanking all the hits. Dude, why are they so bulky? What is going on? This is crazy. Is that going to delay the CT? Okay, luckily it didn't delay the CT of Yamato, which is what we really want to see. We want Yamato to come through, apply halving stats. That was a lot of health cut there from Jack. And then also Katakuri. Oh my god, that damage was nuts! What is happening, bro? Dude, this is not good. Oh my god. We got absolutely slaughtered by this team. Holy. Dude, what is this? Okay, this is interesting. Alright, Smoothie. 
And Smoker might miss. But this is really bad right now. Smoker missed. Dude, we're getting so unlucky with these placements, dude. This is so unlucky. Dude, we got slaughtered. We can use our GP skill, but I don't... Is it, I mean, we have to use it at some point, right? That's not going to really help us at this point. That's going to kill. Oh my god. Absolutely slaughtered by that team. Okay, so <laughs> that was not according to plan. So what happens here? So we lost. Do we straight up lose our stamina? What happens here? Okay, so we keep it. You can try again with your current number of wins. Permit will not be spent for this retry. Two more retries left. Okay, so you get like three chances per stamina, I suppose, to actually do something. So I guess let's go ahead and update and see if we can find a different set of teams. Let's see here. This top one seems a little interesting, or even Germa, right? Because Germa doesn't really do much in terms of a leader skill. This one looks like a pretty clean victory for us. This bottom one, let's see. This one, no, I want to just see the team. This one is going to have, again, pretty obscure teams. The bottom one, okay, so this one this one could also be a pretty clean one for us. Yeah, I don't think these teams are, are, are that well polished. Yeah, these teams aren't super well polished, so I feel comfortable taking one of these teams on. So we've got a, what team is it first? It's a really weird, like quick side team yeah this is this is must be like an auto build kind of team kind of setup all right but let's go ahead and just get our third win because i really want to see what what occurs after you get the third win because we just have to wait and see how it kind of works out right so let's go ahead and take this time and potentially apply actually you know what we kind of screwed up <laughs> we actually up against a quite a few quick units i i still feel kind of uh kind i still feel like we'll kind of get through this Anyways, I want to test out this skip function just to see what occurs. You will not be able to launch your GP burst. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, so it just straight up goes through it all. Okay. So at least it kind of speeds up and shows, you know, who's the victor straight up instead of just like skipping over to this screen showing, oh, you won. It doesn't actually like skip it. I like that it at least shows how the gameplay would have gone. So that's cool. So next is going to be like a Psy v Psy kind of team. But because we have a win up our sleeve, you don't really feel like it's going to be that risky of a matchup. So let's go ahead and apply this. We've got the GP leader working again. All of these buffs. I'm still perplexed as to that fighter team because we did get really unlucky though because uh, a lot of our characters when they launched their specials they didn't re well specifically the Odin special was really unlucky. We're gonna launch the GP burst, which of course is nothing special, but we're gonna just go go ahead and skip it because I feel like we we're, we're, we're pretty comfortable here. So that's another victory. But of course, that was against an opponent that didn't get any wins anyway. That wasn't a very well-polished team. The team that we lost against was a really, really good team. So we got the victory. So that is our third stamina for the day. We get the third win. And we get three wins, top 16%. And it says it, it's going to reset at daily reset or 4 a.m. PST. So that's pretty much how it goes. And... Every day, you want to keep playing and make sure you get your victories. And by doing that, it'll allow you to climb up this ladder until you get all the rewards, basically. Now, to be honest, the rewards, like the 50 gems is, is really nice. Like, we always take that. The bounty, I think it's good. Because remember, the more bounty that you actually accumulate will give you, you know, steps towards your chopper man missions. Like, your total account bounty, which gives you even more rainbow gems. So, I think that's a pretty fair reward. But then you get, like, cotton candy. Like, everyone will take cotton candy for sure. Rumble scrolls, I think, is good. But I think that they should have definitely given us more rumble scrolls prior to the release of Grand Party. Just so that people had the opportunity to level up some of their characters. And then, a title. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think the rewards probably should be a little bit better than what it is. But at the end of the day, it's just additional pirate rumble content that you can play. Does not cost you any rainbow gems, which is good. But... I feel like the rewards are still not what I was expecting. But at the end of the day, it is still 50 free rainbow gems. It's a bunch of bounty and some cotton candy. So I suppose you can't really complain too much because it is free. But at the end of the day, I was probably expecting a little bit better rewards than what we're getting here. 
definitely gonna go back to the drawing board and see if we can try and build a little bit more interesting team so i will report back likely with day two of the event and i'll show you guys uh maybe a different team setup that's what i'll do probably i might make a video on every single day of the of the grand party at least for the opening season and it's going to be interesting to see how often um the grand party is going to be active whether it's going to be like five days every month or something like that or is it going to be maybe every week or is it going to be every second week we don't know the cycle of the way that they're doing the grand party but either way very interesting to get that first experience of grand party i was definitely expecting a little bit more ui but it's interesting nonetheless but that's going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i will see you guys within the next video